Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. A baseball sub break. One of my favorite boxes. I've been with this company since they came out roughly in September of 2020. Here we are with the... This is going to be the July box, I'm pretty certain. Right at the very end of the month. Uh, so the July Grand Slam Card Club. And this is the All-Star Premium Level, I believe it's called. This comes in at a price point of about $135. We get 14 or 15 packs, I think, per month, or, or per box, I should say, in here. I always put their uh, links and stuff and the social media and whatnot in the description if you guys want to check one of these out. I believe my promo code is still good, too. You guys can try it if you want to try one of these out. They do boxes all the way down to, like, 20 bucks. Lots of options and stuff. But uh, anyway, my promo code, GROWIN, G-R-O-W-I-N, and the number one, so GROWIN1. That will get you 5% off of your first order if uh, anybody wants to use that and give this company a try. I've had a lot of luck in here. It's not the most expensive packs, but it is a nice variation and variety of packs for sure. Um, and I have pulled some monster cards out of here in the past. That's why I stick with this box every month. Um, and, you know, hopefully this month is none the different and we get something good out of here. So I'm going to pull all these actually out of here. Let's get these three stacks right out of the box. And then we'll see what we have here. Kind of announce them real quick and get into breaking because it's going to be a decent amount of packs that we get to rip on here today, which is one of the other things I love about this. If that stays up, I'll leave it there. If it falls down, I'm going to pull it off. But uh, all right, three stacks. Let's see what we got here. So stack number one, 2021 Stadium Club. That's a hobby pack. You guys will have to bear with me. I'm going to tell you if these are hobby or retail because, you know, anybody that's interested in these, I know you're going to want to know if these are hobby or retail for your money. So I'm letting you know. So 2021 Series 2 Hobby Pack. 2021 Diamond Kings, that's a hobby pack based on the number of cards there. And then we got uh, 2021 Heritage, that is a hobby pack. 2015 Series 1 hobby pack. Uh, Bowman Heritage from 2019, that's nice, that will be a hobby pack. Uh, everything's looking hobby pack so far. So 2021 Gypsy Queen hobby. 2021 Archives hobby, 2003 Series 2. Um, I don't see like the H or anything on there but I'm I don't know I'm going to assume it's a hobby for now since everything else is hobby 2020 Allen and Ginner hobby and our last stack 2021 Bowman hobby and we got a hit how about that a Cal Quintrill from Bowman's best nice on card autograph right there don't have that one I'll go in the PC there from uh, 2016 pretty cool Cal Quintrill uh 2020 update hobby 2013 series two that is a hobby 2009 series two that is a hobby so the only one that i wasn't sure of in all honesty with hobby was 2003 series two so i'm just gonna assume it's a hobby because everything else is a hobby in here i'm gonna keep the flagship stuff i think together from tops we'll kind of maybe do those all at once and then put these outliers here I think we'll start with the outliers first in all honesty so let's do let's do heritage 2021 heritage let's see if we can pull the auto out of the box i did see inadvertently there are some when well, you saw that white for yourself maybe we got an auto that would be awesome robbie grossman justin smoke robbie ray ryan mcmahon kyle schwarber in action Ooh, we hit a relic very nice we got the hit of the box and evan white Rookie Relic from the Clubhouse Collection. Very nice. Game used. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you get one hit per hobby box. It could be a Relic or an Auto. Most times it's a Relic. Um, but hey, there it is. We got the hobby box hit. Evan White. Very nice. Dodgers team card. Casey Mize in action, rookie. So not a bad pack there at all for for Heritage. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, what am I going to go to next? Oh, man, I don't even know. I think I'll do the Bowman. Bowman Heritage kind of transitions us in. We just did Heritage. I'm going to do Bowman Heritage. Then we'll move on to Bowman after this. Kind of keep everything in order. All right. So we start here. Nice rookie right off the bat. I didn't even recognize Carter Keyboom because I forgot what year we were in here. We're in 2019. That's what was throwing me off there. Hey, Mr. Smiles, Frankie Lindor. Very nice. Let's see if there's anything crazy on the back. Sometimes I think you can get variations on here, but I'm not positive. Um, Edwin Diaz, Nolan Gorman, coming down to the Chromes, Rogio Dor, 
Looks like Will Smith, is it? No, it's Gavin Lux. My gosh, how did, why did I confuse him with him? Gavin Lux, I'll take that, though. That's a nice Gavin Lux prospect card there. Our two chromes. Uh, we got a rainbowish one behind here. I'm not screw that up. So that Nick Madrigal. And then, oh, 10 of 199 for Mr. Sandro Fabian. Pretty, pretty cool. And then Ryan Helsley. Rookie on the end. So, honestly, not a bad pack there. We hit a numbered hit. I'll take that any day. Like I said, we're going to transition into Bowman. So, 2021 Bowman. It's a hobby pack. Let's hope for an auto hit here from the hobby box. It's going to be rough, but you see we've had a little bit of luck so far. Miggy starts us off. Max Kepler, Glaber Day, Blake Snell. we got a Chrome Futurist of Reed Detmers. We got a Chrome Drew Romo and a Chrome Brandon Marsh. Then back to our prospects for Freud Snova. Wander Franco Paper prospects nice. And Nick Bitsko. So that Wander is definitely the best one in that, even though it was paper. Uh, what are we going to go to? I mean, all great packs in all honesty. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling. I'm just going to go left to right. Or I'm sorry, right to left. Diamond Kings. Diamond Kings is, in my opinion, very underrated product. Can pull some absolute fire out of here. I've had a lot of good luck with Diamond Kings, especially the uh, hobby packs. Very relic and auto heavy, I've noticed. Lucas Giolito, Tony Gwynn, Juan Soto, Edward Olivares, rookie. Yeah, we got something backwards. It says Bregg. There's no way this is an Alex Bregman auto. It's probably a relic, but I don't care. I take it. Or maybe it's just a, uh, a framed card. But oh, that would be sick to pull an auto. And it is, it's just framed, but that's all right. Alex Bregman frame card. I'm actually surprised there's no numbering with that because that's not one of the frames I'm familiar with. I don't know if that's just called purple or what they call that one. Don't recall that one. Joey Gallo, artist palette. Luis Camposano, rookie card there. And then last but not least, a debut Diamond Kings of Andres Jimenez. So I like that Bregman. It would have been sick if that was autographed. I have no Bregman autos in my collection. And I do have respect for him, even with all the accusations and stuff that went on. I do like Alex Bregman still to this day. 2021 Stadium Club Hobby Pack. Other than the beautiful photography, let's see if we can get a auto. They are always on card, I believe, in Stadium Club as well. So Frankie Montes starts us off. Roger Clemens, a nice throwback there. Trent Grisham. We'll do some, maybe not some flipping yet. Where the heck is our... Okay, maybe we'll go from this way. I don't know what's up with them this year, flipping these cards around like this. I don't recall this in previous years. Jesus Sanchez, rookie. We've got Max Freed here. Then we got a red foil of Willie Castro. Red foil of Jeter. That's a nice one, actually. Nice Derek Jeter. I'll turn that one around for everybody to see. Nice. JB, Josh Bell. And last but not least, Andy Young, rookie. So that Jeter was definitely the best card of that pack. All right, Alan Ginner. From 2020. Let's get a rip card. Never ever have I pulled a rip card. Would love to get one. I think. Eh, maybe not. I thought we got something different. I have no idea. We'll see as we get to it. So our Sia JB. Uh, is that Brandon Lau? Or is that Nate Lowe? I think it's Brandon Lau. Yeah. Get those two confused with being on the same team, you know, in years past. Jose Arquiti, rookie. The Babe. Raul, or, or I'm sorry, Alberto Mondesi. So used to saying that. We've got a mini of Nolan Ryan and a long ball lore of Robbie Cano. So there you go. Nothing really crazy doing in that pack, though, unfortunately. On to archives. Let's get one of those fan favorite autographs. That's what I always look for and hope to pull in these, to be honest. I love those more than anything. All right, Yoshi Satsugo, rookie in the 74 design there. The Justin Upton, it's not an error. Um, it's the missing you know, team name and stuff, or the city, I should say. It's not an error, though. I have so many of these. Everybody thought it was an error at first and worth a ton of money. It's not. Pudge Rodriguez, the O2 design for Ralph Kiner. Cody Bellinger, and we got a blue parallel. In the O2 design, let me think. Jordan Alvarez, rookie, is in the O2 design. I know that. Well, of course, it is completely, I had it right the first time. Michael Chavis, Michael Chavis, and that is 13 of 25, if you guys can see that right there in the bottom right. Michael Chavis, that would have been sick if that was the Jordan Alvarez out of 25. Gary Sanchez and Kenta Maeda in those 55 designs to close us out. So, what's a parallel hit so far? Gypsy Queen, 2021. 
If I miss a variation, let me know in here. Gypsy Queen's tough to pick out the variation sometimes. I'll have to get the auto, though, and just put that to rest. All right, start with Chapman. There's a nice rookie of Alec Baum. Lord of Escobar, Estevan Floriel rookie. Yachty Molina. Dylan Bunny, and I feel like I must have missed something. Uh, Burns and Jake Cronenworth rookie. I, I had to have missed something, because normally hobby packs, there's always something. Kind of goes slow for everybody to check this out one more time. If you guys see anything that I'm missing, please let me know. Because I feel like I'm missing something. I just I feel like I do. 202 320. I'm looking to see if it's. No. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm not seeing anything. Let me know in the comments if I missed something in that pack. I feel like I did. I'm going to do probably reverse chronological order here, guys. So I'm going to do 2021 Series 2. We've seen so much of this probably at this point. Looking for Cabrian Hayes for me personally. Jake Cronworth would be nice as well. Mike Soroka. Eflin, uh, Christian Arroyo, Tony Watson, Jose Abreu, Randy, Future Stores, Michael Brantley, AJ Puck, Wade Miley, DH Debuts, Christian Yelich. Uh, gloves or hats, there you go, a little team photo, Playzak, and yeah, nothing else really crazy in that pack, as I sort of expected. 2020 update. Randy's a big rookie in here for sure, but uh, that's definitely the driving force in this but you know i'm looking for like an auto hit or a crazy variation or something that's what it's really all about in all honesty at least for this set for me Let's see how many top slips we're gonna have to do today uh, we got one of the throwback cards here coming up oh nice number one prospect alec uh, boom very nice like that that's a pretty good one hunter renfro jared walsh flores and miggy all right, what is next? I think I actually have it in order. All right. 2015 Series 1. Let's see what we can get here. All right, your queen arise. Future stars there of Chris Owings. Blue Jays team card. Another top slip. Stephen Moya rookie. Alex Avila. First pitch. Meb, wow, Keflegzi, Ke oh man, Keflegzi, Fenway Park, sorry guys, I have no idea who that is, let's take a look together, first American male to win the Boston Marathon in 30 years, there you go, I did not know that for sure, Anthony Swarzak, Jake Odorizzi, Matt Garza, and Johnny Peralta, so nothing really crazy there, the first pitch card was probably the best one of that pack, 2013 Series 2. Ernesto Freire, Franklin Gutierrez, AJ Griffin, Lance Lynn, uh, Ross Detwater. We got an insert. Uh, whoa, look at that. Aaron Hicks, rookie. No idea what that's actually called. I do not recall that one. I don't see any numbering or anything like that, but it's a cool looking card. Nice Aaron Hicks rookie, and you know, we'll call it the green parallel for right now. Hinjin Rue rookie, that's a very nice one. We'll take that. That would have been nice to add that in the green. The Casey Jansen, Brett Wallace, and last but not least, Low Kane, Lorenzo Kane. All right, 2009 Series 2. I'm noticing everything's Series 2 heavy here. Lots of Series 2 stuff. Lots and lots of Series 2. Off the top of my head, I do not remember who the heck would be a big rookie to hit in this one. Jason Isringhausen, though, starts us off. Lyle Overbay. Tough to see some of these names here. Josh Beckett. Bobby Abreu. Uh, rookie here of Alfredo Saves. Don't remember him. We got a gold? Gold rookie of Jason Marquis. I think. 58 years of collecting rookie... Uh, rookies. Jeez Louise. Rockies. I'm busy not looking at the picture and just reading it. So it is a 58 years of collecting Jason Marquise. That is gold looking. I mean, I assume it's numbered. Uh, and there you go. There's the gold numbering. 1109 of 2009. Joe Maurer. 
Go to Topps Tom. A little advertisement there. That code, you know, is long expired there by 11 plus years. Jose Molina. Flip around there for Jake Peavy and Aaron Hill. All right. Last pack, guys. 2003 Series 2. And then we'll get out of here. A lot of packs. I think it was 14 total packs, if I recall. Uh, lots of blue bordering here. Brewers team card. That's actually that's a pretty cool card. I mean, I'll give them that. It's like the old school design there with everybody taking their pose and stuff. You don't see those anymore. Phillies team card there. I'm not going to turn that around. Red Sox, man, this is a team card heavy pack. Jake Peavy. That's pretty cool. Um, that might be his rookie. It doesn't have the rookie stamp, but I mean, you guys check it out for yourself. I don't recall. If that's going to be his rookie card or not, but uh, that's pretty cool if it is. Jake Peavy. Barry Bond, Sporting News All-Stars. I like that. Gold Glove of Jim Edmonds, award winner. Uh, he's a little bit stuck here. Oh, top slip time. David Bell, John Smoltz. Old school stuff here for sure. Jeff Jenkins. And last but not least, Gabe Kapler. So, that uh, Jake PV. Let me know in the uh, the comments, guys. I mean, I'll check this out more fine too when I go over these uh, and stuff for myself after. But if that's the Jake PV rookie, let me know, guys. I am not sure off the top of my head. All right. So, there you go, guys. That is the Grand Slam Card Club All Star Premium Box for the month of, like I said, we're going to call it July. So, please do me a favor like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle to go with the social uh, media stuff of the Grand Slam Card Club if you guys want to check it out. I'll also put that promo code, the Grown One, to get you 5% off your first box if you guys want to try that. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you are at, and we will see you next time.